I don't know what's more impressive. The fact that this is 41,500 US dollars, the fact that they make an ultra version that beat a Taycan around the Nürburgring, or the fact that this is the first car this company's ever made. Next up is scale. The government gave out billions of dollars in subsidies, which was a huge boost. But the real secret was competition between cities. It was a war. Shenzhen poured money into BYD. Shanghai went all in on SAIC. And Hufei bet everything it had on NIO. Cities were literally paid for factories just to get cool car brand. This competition started with 500 EV companies, but by 2023, only 100 survived. And they are now the best in the world. And then there's software. Foreign cars have terrible infotainment systems. In China, people expect their cars to update every month like a phone. If it doesn't, the car is worth way less money. And the craziest part? The batteries. In 2013, a battery cost around $700. Today, Chinese companies like CATL and BYD make them for under $70.